I used the steps I explained in video 2 that are explained in more depth in video 1 to export GIS shapefiles for this watershed that actually consists of three minor watersheds. Here is the drawing I exported from and here are the files I have ready for use in DDMSW to do a rational method calculation. Since, since DDMSW does more than just rational method calculations, let me show you exactly the part of DDMSW you need to use to do a rational method calculation once you have the, your GIS files prepared. We'll create a test project by clicking Add Only Hydrology and Hydraulics and then I'll type in some name. The first thing I need to do is choose between HEC1 and Rational which will simplify the rest of the options in this form. I don't have to change anything else because I am using the Maricopa County land use types and NOAA rainfall. So I just save the project whoops I had to delete it there and then I save again and say OK and it tells me what it's doing and this is a little bit baffling but all I have to do all I have to do is go to hydrology rainfall tell it that I want to use GIS to pick the rainfall it's done thinking I pick GIS and then it gives me the ability to pick my maps I'm going to go to my file explorer and copy the path to my maps control C now I'll be able to get to my maps easily control V and pick my rain map okay and save that and update and I should get rainfall values if I do I did something right probably and I'll probably see my little map here that's a really good sign too now we've got rain and we just need to put in our sub basin data and to do that we're going to use the maps menu as soon as it's done and that will be all we have to do then we'll just go to file reports and we'll be able to just choose a sub basin report we click OK go to maps tell it we want to use land use, time of concentration and there we have all three so I just do one at a time, I paste in that path although it was already there and we're on sub basin then we go to land use pick that map or shapefile, that's the word GIS people use uh, and the land map I did something wrong time of concentration okay I'll save and then update and we should see the reassuring facsimiles of our watershed there as soon as that is done all I have to do is go to file and all the calculations are done I just have to go to file 
reports and choose my sub basins. I print them and there's everything I wanted to know from the rational method. And that is it.